Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Series 11 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. I'm combining it today with Make It a Mini Monday. And the sketch we are using is from Stephanie Olson. And um, I went a little bit off sketch. So I started out looking at the sketch and thought, okay, I need two layers of paper underneath my photo. One photo kind of central. It's going to hang like a photo uh, or like a a mounted picture on a wall or a painting and I had two photos so I did shrink it down to eight and a half by eleven and I am gonna cut my photos up a bit so I didn't need all of the people in these photos so I just trimmed them down so that it primarily focused on my kids and their their closest friends and um, kind of cut out the extra people there were a couple extra people in there that I didn't need so these are the my kids or my daughter and um, my cousin's daughter and then my son and some of his friends on the front of the boat that took us over to Santa Cruz Island and I trimmed it down with this paper to eight and a half by eleven because uh, that is the size that um, I have for these two photos to go in <laughs> so this album is a variety of sizes in it including pocket pages and so I thought this would be the perfect one to use for this uh, sketch. Now I pretty much knew I wasn't going to do the like picture frame looking portion of it because I've done that before and it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, there's nothing against it or anything but I it just I didn't feel like it would look right especially with two photos. It would look kind of weird unless they were um, hung separately but stacked like this I just thought it would look kind of weird so I kind of wanted to go with the two layers of paper underneath and um, you know when I'm actually working on this I look at the sketch and kind of get an idea in my head and then I kind of set it aside and I kind of go with it so <laughs> it changed pretty quickly here um, I thought I would use this wood grain but it wasn't tall enough and I thought, I well, maybe I can add that uh, there was a piece of paper that is underneath the box of wood veneer that has clouds. I thought, well, maybe I could add that to it. Or maybe I would use that uh, floral paper. And then I decided, well, let me bring in this wood grain instead because that works better. This wood grain is definitely the right size. So maybe that'll be the, the square that goes underneath my photos. And um, I knew I wanted to bring in some wood grain because I have wood grain going on throughout this album in varying locations. So I thought, well, I'll use that and keep it consistent with the rest of the album. I thought that little frame would be really, or frame, uh, envelope would be really cute because it matched the globe. And I really wanted to use the globe, but uh, the envelope didn't make the cut. So um, that's going to go bye-bye. But I do end up using this wood grain and I am tearing it to fit. So I got to get an eight and a half by 11 inch piece and then I need to tear the ends of it um, because a lot of the stuff in this album has torn edges. So I want to keep with that as well. And by tearing it, there went my uh, squares that were going to be underneath my block of photos because it is now not cut straight and it's not really I mean, it is still kind of a square, but not exactly. And then for my second layer, I really wanted to use this cloud paper and I only had a little bit of it. So it's getting stretched and um, it's gonna work, but it's definitely not as large as the second piece of paper in the sketch. So, you know, I started with the sketch. <laughs> quickly went off on my own apparently and um that's that's the that's what happens I guess when you stop looking at it while it is um, while you're working on it you know it is up on the in the corner there so you can see it but I don't have that luxury when I am um, working on it I set my paper down and you know quickly went along on my merry way and and here we go so I really liked the navy blue polka dots in that pink paper. Uh, they really just um, looked great with the photos with all of the blue in the photos with the boat there. Um, 
a lot of people are wearing blue. It's got dark blues and light blues, and that's why I brought in that globe. And um, to kind of bring it down a little bit and darken it up a little, that's why I brought in the cloud of paper. And I really like the way that it's coming together. Um, there really isn't a whole lot left to this layout. I'm going to put a few little layers of tags and tickets up at the top of the two photos. And then um, I am going to use that Adventure Awaits as my title because I didn't really feel like it needed a whole title. It's going in the same album everything else is in. So it's kind of like a sub uh, subtitle to the actual titles that are already on the other pages. Um, I am going to use an, a little piece of wood veneer up in this upper uh, cluster just so that that so that it brings the wood up across and the little piece of wood that's going up there is going to say travel on it. It's going to be a little arrow and I really like the way that that ends up looking. And then um, as I was going through my different things, I found the little wood piece that has the two little rhinestones on it. They're little turquoise ones. I thought that was a nice way to bring in a little bling. And then this piece that is fit perfectly over that adventure awaits portion. And it says take the scenic route. And so I thought I'd go ahead and put that in there. I thought it fit so well. It was like it was meant to go with that wood piece. And that's pretty close to it you guys um the close-ups are coming up here thanks so much for watching go check out what mk is doing over on her channel today for make it a mini monday and uh the playlist for everyone down below for 31 days or 30 days of sketches is there for you to go and check out thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys again soon Bye bye